Good day, friend. Keeping well? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm keeping real well. Even the dead need company. That's what RK provides. Yeah, how about a, how about a lunch break here, Brother Verilus? You feeling a little hungry? You, you're a little... <laughs> are you a little peckish? Do you think you could go out for a little... <laughs> a little bite to eat? <laughs> I, I, I have need of a priest in my travels. When we had last left the last dragonborn, they had undertaken an arduous task and an arduous journey. Unlike, well, similar to at least two other arduous tasks and journeys that they had long before undertaken. Yes, they needed to find a steward? Is that the name of it? A steward! For Helhjarchen Hall. Helhjarchen Manor. Helhjarchen Home. The homestead. And they were able to find one in the noble Rogi, not Beard. And they brought him out to Helhjarchen and he was having a good time. It was lovely. And they had some small adventures along the way. You know, wizards and stuff like that. They were run amok. I'm just beyond uh, the gates of Windhelm. But now Helhjarchen was looking well. And perhaps it was time to very soon return back to their primary duties. Yes, some would say a main quest. But there was one thing missing. A more permanent follower. Whoa, shit. <laughs> one who would see them through the trials and tribulations to come. And so they set forth in search of one such companion, one such follower. This is the Elder Scrolls V. Skyrim, welcome back. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and look, Rogi's here cooking. We've built up a lot of stuff. I'd say we're just under like halfway, maybe roughly halfway even, right? Uh, completed with everything in here as far as building it all up. I still have all of the like wings to fully furnish and all that, right? Maybe I had made a layout mouth, of how I wanted everything done up, right? With regards to like what wings I want in all these. It's not the like most aesthetically pleasing from the exterior, but I went more with a functionality right, that I preferred over form, right? If anything, I put some of the Wish least functional that. buildings or whatever on this. On this health arch in here, because, you know, we so infrequently come out this way. Right, we we go by Morthal. The, honestly, the the one out by Morthal, Winstead, we go by that one definitely the most, right? But I don't like how it looks, right? I don't like how it looks. We definitely go by uh, the Falkreath one, Lakeview. Probably the second amount, right? But maybe that'll change as we quest more around that area. But I don't think so. Honestly, I think the Morthal one is in, like, a prime spot. Right? Kind of out by where very few towns are. Because the, the issue with Helhjarchen, at least for the time being, is that you, you kind of already got a bunch of shit around here, right? Whereas with this, with Winstat... It's easy access if you're running across from Solitude and all that. Or maybe this is a good location, we just don't typically run this way. Right? I don't know. Either way, we definitely find ourselves at Windstat way more frequently. Right, regardless of the reasons, whether they're like, artificial or not. But, alas, this one, less significant upgrades. Let's see, I even have... Oh shit, I flipped the page. We'll never know. I, I have no idea what I built here. <laughs> I don't know, there's like storage, bedrooms, uh, some other thing, I don't know. <laughs> some, some shit like that. But we have one of each at, at every location, right? We have not doubled down Working on it. Working our mind is dangerous work. Though I would argue that it'd probably be good to double down because, I mean, who needs bedrooms? Right? We don't, we don't exactly need the bedroom situation, do we? I don't know. Or maybe do you need bedrooms to have children? And one of your locations? Maybe you do. Right? 
maybe maybe this then becomes the one where we have people at, right? Like the family and all that. I don't know. I have no idea how it works. But I wouldn't be I wouldn't be sad about that, right? It's in like a prime location. You know? It's it's pretty good. It's no it's not as beautiful as Lakeview, but what can you do? Alright. Nonetheless, let's be off. As you can see, we got the carriage up and running, ready to go. go. Marcus is here. I would like to go to Markarth. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Now, this follower involves a quest that I'm not sure if I've ever personally done. I'm certainly aware of this quest, but I'm very unaware of the specifics of it because I don't. I don't think I ever did it way back in the day. I don't think I ever did this quest, but I'm pretty sure, like. I don't know, you know, you know how you do it. Around the time when I, like, thought, oh yeah, I'm probably finished playing Skyrim for now or whatever. Way back when, around the initial launch, I, I was watching, like, videos and all that. Like, oh, these are all the qu fun and interesting quests and all that. And this is one of them. <laughs> you may already have an idea of exactly who I'm talking about. But, alas, let's continue on deeper into Markarth. <laughs> we even alluded to this quest. And its existence previously, I believe. Let's see. Over here, we need to go get a room. Silverblood Inn. Rest up and all that good stuff. Come oh. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of are. strong drink and clean rooms. Oh, thank you, Clepper. This is the Silverblood Inn. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. Okay. But before we get a room, how about a room myrrh? Did you hear? The Hall of the Dead is closed. Brother Veralis isn't the most popular man in town right now. Oh. That's very... interesting. Alright, I'd like to rent a room. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Okay. Very well. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. I'm surprised that didn't give us an update of any sort. But that is what we're going to do. If you know, I'm you know! My husband, Clapper. I All right. watch after our guests. Let's see over here. We'll take a little nap. How long do we want to go for? How about... Ooh, maybe eight hours is excellent, right? Let's go for eight hours. Seems fine to me. All right. Maybe we've already got this tracked in some ways, like a miscellaneous thing? I have no idea. Here, let's chow down on some weird food thing. Let's see here. Leg of goat roast. I'm still hungry, though. Let's see, how about... Apple pie. There we go. Satisfied. That'll do for now. Alright. Let's see. Do I actually have this as some sort of... Unmarked miscellaneous quest for the time being? Hmm. Let's see. Let's just quickly... Skim and scan through all this. Ah, there we go. Look, yeah, we've already got it. Huh. Okay. Yeah, it probably cropped up and I wasn't even aware of what it was. Like I said, it, I have a very weird relationship with this one. Wait, okay. I know you. Let's see, over here. Follow our, our little fun marker and all that business, right? Look at this. Oh, I, I always remember this. For, for whatever reason, from the like big reveal Skyrim trailer or whatever, this is like the most notable part of it for me. I think it's because when the music like crescendos and swells and all that, when uh, we're s the camera is like spinning around the Markarth Tower or whatever, I don't know. For whatever reason, it always uh, like stuck to me, struck me, even. All right, let's head on up here. Oh, and by the way, remember we were checking out the Legend of Crately House and we were thinking about reading it. Totally already read it in Oblivion. <laughs> totally already read it. Oh, look, it's locked. Huh. Should I wait an hour? Shit, it's still locked. Fuck it, I'm going in. I'm going in. Let's do a quick save. Alright. There we go. What's the worst I can- Or maybe- Is this actually it? Yeah. This is where we gotta go. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we got our smithing up to like 41 or 42, by the way, by crafting up all the iron shit at Hellyarchen. 
There we are. Ooh. Dude, I really don't think I've ever done this one. <laughs> Alright. Oh god. Like, I wasn't even aware that there were two of these in Markarth. For all I know, there's a third one. No, there can't be. There can't be a third one in Markarth. Alright. Empty coffin. Anything else of interest here? Is someone gonna see us in here and get, like, really angry? I'd believe it. If you told me. Very weird that all the coffins are entirely empty. Also, hey, is this insight into... Dwemer burial rituals and all that? Because this looks very Dwemery. Right? All the stone and shit? Huh. Interesting. They have, like, some sort of enormous mausoleum or whatever going on, right? Who would have thought that they even, like, cared to honor the dead or whatever, right? Huh. Okay. Let's head on deeper, under Stone Keep. Pick into this. Or should we check that other area, right? I don't even know what's over there. Let's let's take a look real quick. What's up here? It's probably some fucking dude. No. A bed. Owned. By who? Okay. There we go. Get a blessing. Why not? Some cheese. Ah. A spike of wheat. What's in this barrel? Flour. That's just food. A poop bucket in the corner? Oh. Bless this holy shit. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Head on over here. Good. And in here. Oh shit. Okay. Like this. There we are. Beautiful. Alright. Ooh. Oh. What? Oh! <laughs> hey! Isn't this Calcelmo's? <laughs> uh, I'm a wizard, that's why I showed up here. <laughs> I didn't walk through your your everything there, dude. Oh shit, yeah, this is Calcelmo. Hey, Calcelmo, you wanna buy some stupid potions? Good to see you. Take a look. Yeah, yeah, buy some of this, huh? Here, I know you like this. Let's see. Uh... What have we even got for you? Oh shit, you don't have that much, do you? Okay, how about... That, one of those. That'll do just fine. There we are. Should we buy some junk from you just as well? Hmm... I guess Calcelmo regularly gets, like, chunks of... Dwemer garbage and all that that you can smelt down, right? So, by way of Calcelmo, you kind of have, like, a renewable resource. So I guess the dungeons do repopulate at some point, right? Okay. Hmm. Anything else we should get here? I don't know. I mean, I guess we could buy these, right? Let's buy them. There we are. Get all these. And then we'll just pawn off a shitload more potions, right? Good. Beautiful. Okay. Let's see. Oh, you've still got 140. Hmm. There we are. We don't need Elixir of the Berserker. Okay. Thank you, Kelsomo. What? Oh, goodbye. All right. Yeah, see ya. Okay. Over here. And hey, what's up, Brother Verulus? If it's about the Hall of the Dead, no. You can't go in there. Yeah, I would never dream of it. <laughs> well, well, why not? I can't talk about it. Rest assured, the Jarl hears everyone's concerns. You will be able to visit the dead again soon. Ooh. <laughs> Is that a threat? Okay. I could help if you tell me. Would some coin help? I don't like being ignored. I'll come back later then. We're rich as shit. Let's spread the love. Well, the priesthood of RK always accepts generous donations. We've discovered that some of the dead have been... eaten. Flesh has been chewed off. Bones were snapped to get at the marrow inside. Oh, we God. haven't caught anyone or anything yet. It's like it knows when I'm there. It? If you can get to the bottom of this, the priesthood of Arcade will reward you. 
Take my key and be careful. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that this is like the second coming of the Uterfract. All right. What's the Hall of the Dead? Hmm. New to Skyrim? I was confused Just at wait until too. I ask my next the question. The call their mausoleums <laughs> the Hall of the Dead. It's where people in the city are buried. Fathers, forefathers, mothers, foremothers. Well, who's R.K.? <laughs> R.K., one of the eight divines, god of the cycle of birth and death. Hmm. It New is to his shrine people pray to when they visit the hall. That his divinity will watch over their ancestors on the way to the next life. Okay, sure. Tread lightly in the hall. We don't know what's in there. Yeah, anything could be in there. I have, I have no idea what's in there either, dude. <laughs> Absolutely no idea. All right. Wow, Brother Vernalus. Not many would walk oh. blindly into a crypt smelling of steel and blood, but not fear. Oh my gosh. We're in a game of TF2. <laughs> Gnawing at you. You see the dead, and your mouth grows wet. Your stomach growls. Ugh. <laughs> it's all right. I will not shun you for what you are. Stay. I will tell you everything you have forgotten. Okay. Sure. I like how by just entering here, this voice is like, oh, you hungry. <laughs> you were young when you first tasted human flesh, weren't you? A brother or sister had died. An accident, of course. Then the hunger set in. Curiosity. What's the harm in just one bite? What are you talking it's okay about? okay now. You found a friend who understands you. You can let go of your guilt. Guilt? What are you talking about? I'm not a cannibal. What are you trying to do to me? <laughs> your tricks won't help, won't help you, monster. <laughs> I want to say, what are you trying to do to me? <laughs> a lot of our kind block out the memory of their first meal. The shame is too much. But you don't need to hide anymore. Namira, the Lady of Decay, accepts you for what you are. She has a place for us where we can sate our appetites without judgment. Alright, well... <laughs> I mean, you know, we're a few few weeks away from, from Vorte, aren't we? But where, where is this place? It's inside Reachcliff Cave. But the dead have stirred from their slumber recently, and I was forced here. Meet me there. We all fight our way to Namira's embrace together. Until then, tell the people of Markarth that their dead won't be disturbed anymore. We have bigger plans ahead. Oh my gosh! Oh no, wait, that was a spell. Alright. Clear the Draugr from Reachcliff Cave. Okay. Tell Verulus the Hall of the Dead is safe. Aeola in Markarth wants me to join her in worshipping Namira, the Lady of Decay, by feasting on the flesh of the dead! She has something planned inside Reachcliff Cave. Cool. Where is that at? Oh shit, we've been by this area. Oh dear lord. Alright. Head on over here. Dude, she was in here, like, cloaked, watching me, just like, slunking around. Hey. You returned. What happened in the Hall of the Dead? Uh, it's, it's all safe now. Divines preserve you. You're a hero. I know. We'll reopen the hall right away. Here, take my amulet as a reward. Oh, thanks. Okay. <laughs> okay, protect you. All right, let's head on out. There we go. Let's head on over here. I'm trying to think. Has what was the last Bethesda game to come out that didn't have a quest related to eating people? <laughs> I mean, I think. I know a lot, like, every Fallout game has eating people, but I don't know if... Did Fallout 4 have a quest about eating people? I can't even remember. Surely it did. You know what? Does Fallout 76 count? I don't know, because I don't know if there's a quest in there about eating people. Oh, there has to be. There has to be. Right. Okay, let's head on out over here. They're fucking obsessed with eating people. I don't... 
<laughs> I don't know. I think maybe just games in general <laughs> seem to be. Like, it's. it feels like every so often, like every RPG you, you run into, it, uh, every open world role-playing game, even some things that aren't role-playing games, you know, gotta have the one where it's about eating people. That's what we have. Thanks, that's what I have right here. I bought this from you. <laughs> Alright, let's go on over here. There we are. Good. Let's see, what's our best route over there as well? I guess just over the river and through the freaking wood, huh? Sure. Okay. Good, good, good. Over here. Lovely. Oh, look at that. Crabulons on the prowl. You know, I was about to say when we were talking with her, like, you know, I guess it's not so bad that they're eating people who are already dead, right? I mean, shit, we go around in Morrowind eating up bone meal left and right. <laughs> what's, what's the harm in eating someone who's already dead, but... I guess it's not going to stay that way much longer, huh? <laughs> not if we have anything to say about it. All right. Let's see. What is this other cave over here that's not been revealed to us? Huh. I don't know. It's quite close. We'll have to let it be for now, though. Right? Good lord. We're going to get another dragon out here. Oh, God. Is that it? Oh, there it is. Oh, where is it? Oh, there it is. It looks powerful as shit. Oh, it's- no, it's not. It's really not. <laughs> okay. Look, it's- it, I don't even have the battle music. It's such a baby. There we go. Oh, shit. Where's it going? Shit, I'm not going up there. If you want to rumble, you gotta come down here. Can I hit you through all that? Good God. Yo, come down here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, right here. Oh, shit. Can't reach. Oh, God, I don't have enough magic either. Let's see. Hmm. Let's get uh, this re-equipped. How about, like, a bound bow? Right? We can plink it a bit. Give it some plinks and plonks. Oh, shit, there's a vigilant out here. All right. Where are you gonna land at, freak? All right, let's head on up here. I'm sorry, dragon. That came on a little strong out of nowhere. <laughs> you fucking freak, you dragon. I say as I'm on the quest about eating people. <laughs> All right. Shit, I can't, I can't get over there. You are a freak. You hear me? Get back over here. Oh, God. Can we lure it this way? Is it just, like, chowing down on... On whoever? Where are you? It's up there, I know. It's so difficult to reach it. I hear you, Vigilant. I hear you. Oh, God. What's it doing? Oh, well. Must have run off. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> this is such a terrible place to be fighting dragons. Gotta be the worst place in all of Skyrim land to, like, battle Annie, right? because of how wild the terrain gets. Look at this asshole. Who are you even fighting up there? Oh god. It's probably like wiping out the orc stronghold or something. Okay. Good. Oh shit. Oh god. Who are all these folks? Oh my gosh, it's the Forsworn. All right. There we go. Jeez, it does nothing. Okay. Get this going again. We're just gonna roll up in here. All right. Oh shit, no, it's the Legion versus Cave Bear. And force one. Eat some salmon real quick. There we go. Jesus! Oh no. My shout didn't work. Oh, 
Or did it? Oh, it's health went down. There we go. Good. Let's fight bears now. I don't want to hit them. Alright. There we go. Good stuff. Alright. Let's see, what have you got, you old gnarly butthole? Should we take this? Yeah, why not? Worst case, we can drop it easy, right? Let's see, anything here? Delicious flour, my favorite. Forager back here, nah, nothing on you. Coin purse, I'll take that. A little treasure. Ooh, a gold ingot. Okay, I'll take the rest of that, too. Oh, that sack, nothing in there. Venison? Nah, that's... that's a bit much for me. Alright, sure. Oh, look. Oh, iron ore. Alright, we do need that. Always useful to have iron. Right. There we are. Cool. And let's do some of this just as well. Alright, what are they doing up here? I forget, is Markarth controlled by the Stormcloaks or the Legion? I, I have no idea. Hmm. I thought it was an imperial town, right? Yeah. So I guess maybe they're like fanning out from Markarth is the idea. I could see that. Look at that. Serene as hell. All right. Oh shit. Prior Mabel, what are you doing out here? You like taking a bath? Your spa day or something? Oh shit. Oh, being accosted by a Crabulon. Okay, well, let's escape that horror. <laughs> let's get over here. There we are. Okay. And then should be... Oh, fuck. Yeah. Jeez, y'all come out of the woodwork, huh? Oh, this is where we encountered that weird dragon that one time, huh? I'll sort of curse you. Whoa, take it easy, dude. Yeah. You don't gotta bring her into it. Uh, there you go. I don't even know where. Oh. <laughs> Good. What have you got? Flawless Ruby. I'll take another note. Some of this. May as well just apply some virulent stam poison. Why not? Alright, Prior Mabel, let's get a little bit closer to the entry point here. There we are. Good. Okay. There we are. Good. This is it, isn't it? Yeah, Reach Cliff Cave. Wow, who'd have thought? Did we go up in here before? I don't even remember. We must have when we were here with the dragon. Oh, shit. You've come. The Draugr infesting the Mirror Sanctuary are inside. Okay. I could use a hand. Wait here, I'll take care of him. Yeah, actually, you... Well... Yeah, you wait here. I don't want you to die. Then I'll wait. Okay. Jesus. Look at you. A horrific visage of a woman. Let's head on down here. <laughs> That's our future companion, baby! <laughs> Alright. Let's go on over here. <laughs> Let's see. Over here. There we go. Let's take care of this dude. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> All right. Yeah, Gordon, take shelter. Good God, man. All right, where's our unrelenting force as well? Let's fuck with this dude a bit. Chop him up. Cool. Heal up a little bit over here. Shields up. Heal up again. Good. Give him a yell. Beautiful. Ooh, look at him. Doing flips and shit to get back up. Here we are. Good. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. What have you got? Boom. All right. Should we take the ebony arrows? You got 20 of them. Why not? You know, maybe we'll take the ebony bow. Maybe what's-her-butt out there likes bows. I have no idea. 
take that. Let's see. Anything else here? Hmm. No, we're good. Let's continue. All right. Let's see what. Oh. Oh shit! Or, see, I'm not sure if, if right now, if we went in with her assistance, if she would be flagged for like being a sort of essential character that only we could kill, like a normal companion, or if she's still vulnerable to like friendly fire or whatever, or just getting killed by, not friendly fire, I should say, just getting killed by a shitload of enemies, you know, like depending on how the quest goes. Here. Good. Iron ingot. Yo, everybody in here's got ebony. Alright. Cool. Weird that Namira has concerns with Draugr, right? Like, what the fuck are you even talking about, Namira? Like, I don't know if you've noticed, but almost all these fucking old ass ancient Nord burial sites have, like, Draugr out the ass in them. It's just non-stop Draugr all the fucking time. Here we go. Oh, shit. My power! Good. Get the fuck out of there. Oh, God. There's a wizard lord down below. Good. No more gems. That's fine. Alright. Is this fool coming up after me? Yeah, you are. Alright. Run you through. Boom. Love that. Alright. I want to avoid a situation where it casts the, like, ice storm on me. Alright. There we are. Turn this on and let's look through this area real quick. Hmm. Anything actually good here? Oh, wait. What was that? No, that was just a little trick of the light. Someone is, like, trying to snipe my whole butt. Get out of here! Nope. Oh, already been looked through. Over here. Let's get you. Oh. <laughs> Good lord. Alright. That arrow reflection thing is <laughs> so rough. Okay. Let's go with notched pickaxe. Get this out. Get some ore in us. Love it. Boom. And then... Great. Oh, wow. We got flawless sapphire out of it. Lovely. Alright. Let's see. So what parts of this... We must not have gone in here because, look, so much of it is seemingly just available to us, right? I don't know. Unless there was a point where we got turned back for some reason. Like, maybe here? I don't know. Actually, you know what? I think that's exactly it. It was right here. Or right there. There we are. Great. One more. Beautiful. Okay. Bone meal. Is this treasure chest booby trapped? Now we're good. Too bad we can't, like, send Gordon in to deactivate the traps and all that. You know, give him a little snip snip. Cut the cord and all that. <laughs> Worst case, Gordon just goes flying. Gordon's, like, invincible, though. So it's A-OK. -okay. Oh, look! A Daedric helmet! Holy shit! Okay. Anything here of interest? Nah. Oh, something in here. Six big ones. Alright. Let's do a quick save just in case. Oh, hey, look at this little thing. What does this do? Oh! Weird that it's like that. Okay. Why is that? Huh. Okay. Sure. Is this just like... So that way... <laughs> are Draugr incapable of opening that? I don't know. Are these ones that like shoot stuff at you? No. Alright. How do we get in this? Oh, that's probably the loop around. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck! Oh, my head! Jesus! Making me wish I did wear a helmet. 
All right. Oh, God. Is that like an ultimate dude? Oh, look, I wasn't even, I'm not even like super sprint mode. Oh, because I got Foose Road. I had like the shit still active. I was just like walking around because the effect was still on me somehow. Go. Dude, yeah, there's like a super dude here. Oh my gosh. All right. That begs the question then. In my first time playing through Skyrim, did I not ever clear out Labyrinthian? Did I just imagine that? I never actually cleared it? All right. There we go. Oh, shit. Good. Good thing this dude is just, like, chilling as we're over here, like, hacking and slashing. Oh, you don't have a special name. Okay. I don't know why I'm even bothering with this. <laughs> Look at that, Gordon. We're safe. Stupid, stupid dragon priest. Here we go. Get our buffs going and everything. Does this do anything? Nah. I mean, it looks kind of cool. <laughs> Look at them. They really don't enjoy it. There we are. Jeez, this one is like really ineffective at whatever it's trying to do to me here. It's having a real hard time. <laughs> there we go. Turn into toilet paper. What have you got for me? Oh yeah, okay. Not the much. Okay, so yeah, the unnamed ones. Nothing worthwhile as far as like hats are concerned. Okay, let's see. Grab some of that. Beautiful. Over here. Okay. Anything? Oh, look. Big woot loot. Let's apply some deadly poison. Take this. Anything else we should take here? I'm thinking we leave this junk. Who needs that? Oh, necromancy at play. Couple of hands. Okay. Goblets as well. Just flick this on. Oh, that one's empty. My bad. Both of those also empty. Jesus. Look at this shit. Fuck me, dude. Okay. Oh, God! <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> oh, no! Is that Namira? Who is that up there? It looks like a little goblin. Who's this little goblin? Oh, God. Okay, sure. Let's see, anything else here? Nah. Let's hurry out the other way. You know, now I feel bad for not taking what's her butt in here, right? She'd love to see this, huh? Maybe have something special to say, you know? <laughs> She'd be like, oh, you. This isn't a goblin. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got everything? Let's see. Yep, we're good. Huh. I mean, this goes out to Skyrim, but it looks like our objective is inside. Let's do a quick save here. We'll see where this takes us. Ooh. Secret entrance. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Where are we? Oh, we're not too far at all. Okay. Sure. Is that a horker over there? I don't know. It looks like the Legion fighting something. Oh, probably a saber cat. Alright, let's take these plants, head on back in. Cool. Okay. How do you think she knew that we cleared it? Are you getting also, like, telecoms from... from... from whoever, maybe? I don't think it even revealed yet that this is Namira. <laughs> Alright. Or no, wait, it did, didn't it? Yeah. In worshipping Namira. Alright. Over here. There we go. Okay. Hey. 
Look at you, strolling through. You've done it. The shrine is ours again. Now we need to prepare a grand feast to welcome you to Namira's coven. Cool. You will have the honor of bringing a fresh kill for the main course. And I know the perfect person. Well, who is it? A priest filled with the taste of an easy life. Brother Verilus from Markarth. Give him this gold. Tell him you need Arke's help exploring an old cavern for treasure. And when he stands in Amira's presence, she will take care of the rest. Say hello to Verilus for me. Okay. I wonder why she wants to eat this fucking dude. I don't know. Maybe she was just spying on him and thought that he was a fucking snack and a half. Alright. Let's head on over here. Go. Let's see. Convince Verilus to follow you, right? Oh shit, we should have gone out the easy exit. What am I even doing? There we are. Sorry, Gordon. I'm a fool. Okay. Over this way. And then... <laughs> Jeez. Gordon, I'm really a fool. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know how to get out of here. I'm trapped in Namir's catacombs. Okay. This is it, right? Oh god, we should have just stayed the course. Okay, here we are. <laughs> Good. Oh. oh my gosh, we were almost trapped down here forever. There we are. Wonder what happens if you enter from this area. Probably the door's locked, right? The, like, rock door or whatever. Oh shit, you know what this means, though? We ain't got Prior Mabel with us. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what a mistake! Oh, my gosh. Alright, we'll just keep running for it then. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, look. look at these buttholes. Let's take care of some business here. Oh, my god, you wiped them out! Oh! Oh! Who's talking? Oh, shit, is there another old orc? Bouncer! Who is Bouncer? Small note. A drill. I need you to go out, oh, and find the missing pit wolves before the next tournament. We lost too many during the last fights and we won't be able to train new ones in time. Find them and bring them back to Crags Lane at once. Dude, all roads lead back to Crags Lane, so it seems. All right. What's up with you? What now? Oh, nothing, I'm sorry. There it. Weird. Okay, I guess that place does just continually repopulate with the bandits after enough time has passed, right? Just new people keep moving in. <laughs> it's its own, like, Elder Scrolls prophecy, yes. In the cold, frigid northern reaches of Tamriel. In the region known only as Skyrim. Yes. Where the ancient Atmorans once tread, there is a cave. Crags Lane, they call it. And in there, people will fight. Wolves. Non-stop. All the time. There must always be a bunch of fucked up wolf fighter people. Good lord. What a fate to have befall this land. A, sh a shadow has fallen over Skyrim. And only you can take care of business and only you can be the guiding light that shines away the dark in all corners <laughs> good lord it writes itself go on over here all wait right. i know you let's see. oh shit i almost went up into the inn okay over here Good. I guess we can stow our shit, right? Sometimes I just like running with it out. I don't even know if it makes us slower. Probably, most certainly if we had a two-hander, but I don't know. Let's see. Up here. Boom. Okay. He's probably ch Oh no, he is actually inside of here. What's up, Verilus? Hey. Good day, friend. Keeping well? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm keeping real well. Even the dead need company. 
That's what RK provides. Yeah, how about a how about a lunch break here, Brother Verilus? You feeling a little hungry? You, you're a little <laughs> are you a little peckish? Do you think you could go out for a little <laughs> a little bite to eat? <laughs> I, I I have need of a priest in my travels. You are looking for RK's protection while you delve some dank tomb, I take it? My duties keep me busy in Markarth. I don't know if I can help you. <laughs> well, how about all this fucking gold, baby? That's no small amount of coin, friend. I suppose I can come with you for a short venture. Lead on. Great. Do we ever get it back? <laughs> you know, at first... I gave him all the money thinking, you know, this would go to a good cause, but... I mean, I guess in a way. <laughs> I guess we were just fattening him up. <laughs> good God. Fuck me. <laughs> How many more of these can we throw in here? <laughs> oh, it's terrible. Alright. Hey, do you have anything to say while we're on the on the road here? Don't worry. RK's protection is absolute. Okay. Let's see. I yeah, I wonder why Eola and by extension Namira have a bone to pick with <laughs> a bone to pick with with Verilus, with RK, right? <laughs> and why they'll soon need a a toothpick. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look, I don't even know whose horse this is. It continually appears here. All right. Very well. Let's head on out. Good. All right. Get in your priestly exercise and all that. Good. Here we are. How many priests of different orders and shit have we wiped out so far? For demon lords, in specific. We got that old man, right? Oh no, that dude was, was a priest of our, of Boethia, though. Which, you know, depending on your perspective. I guess it is weird that he wasn't Dunmary, though, huh? It's more surprising that he wasn't like a Dunmary priest of Boethia, right? I forgot what his, you know, old Beardo. I don't even remember his name. But, uh, for Molag Bal, right? Okay. Let's head on out over here. Good. I've just accepted, you know, that we're just slowly becoming evil over time. <laughs> That's the only way we can get results with these, uh, with these quests. We're, at best, we're chaotic neutral, right? At best. But I, I'm thinking we're just we're just being corrupted <laughs> by some some force. All right, over here. Very well. Okay, where's our friend at? He'll probably pop up. Do a quick save just in case. There we go. All right. Oh, brother Verilus. On our way here, I hope you certainly <laughs> I hope you certainly worked up an appetite. <laughs> oh, good lord! Yo, what did they do? <laughs> this was not here before, was it? All these candles and all the blood? <laughs> well, they got the mood lighting out and everything. How many, like, carts filled with candles did they have to bring up in here? Thank you, Lisbeth. It's been such a joy to dine with you all these years. Oh shit, Lisbeth, right. Hog die. Do dogs count? Ugh. Of course they don't count. My friend Marix, we were hunting and I thought he was an elk. That must have been quite a surprise. Either way, I came back with meat for the table. Dude, this is so fucked the up. The are my favorite part. I hope I get to take a few home with me. What the I fuck? I preferred the liver myself. My brother had such a juicy liver. Oh. 
<laughs> what do you make of this, Verilus? We're here with some real certified grade A freaks. Hey, Eola. Who, who are you? What's going on? Priest of RK. I'm your friend. You're my friend. Yes, I'm your friend. Dude, and she I've has psionic powers. Dinner. I've been invited to dinner. I'm so hungry. Why don't you lay down and rest while we get the meal ready? I need to lay down. I'll just be a minute. Come with me. Our feast is about to begin. Okay. Hey, everyone. Who the hell are you? Ah, the new disciple. I hear you have quite the appetite. Yeah, I'm hungry as shit. I'm gonna eat this man, I guess. <laughs> the fuck? The Jesus meal is on Christ. the nearest table. Go ahead, carve. Okay. Do I lower this thing and plunge it into him? Hang on, move down a little bit. You're you're not lined up right. It's just gonna like smash into your feet, and that guy's not gonna get to eat his toes. Don't be shy. You should be the one to carve. Oh, okay. Can I speak with everyone first? You brought us quite the meal. Oh my gosh, look at you. What's with your eyeballs? Are you Dunmer? You've brought us quite the meal. Okay. I like that some of these people are, like, from town and all that. Now this is going to be a good feast. <sighs> I remember my first feast. I envy you. I'm so glad Ayola invited you to dinner. Ah, the new okay. disciple. There I is. hear you have quite the appetite. I know. I've um what's another thing we could say? <laughs> I'm hunky. <laughs> hey, what do you have to say to this? Nothing? Oh, he's just he's knocked out cold. He's sleepy as shit. Alright, can I like shield bash him? Yeah! Oh fuck! A dagger came out of him. So sweet. Go ahead. Have the first bite. Oh my god! Do I need to eat this man for real? Feast on Verilus. Brother Verilus's still warm body lies before you. Alright, let me just mount this whole thing. Let's really just get up there. Look at this, Gordon! Look! I'm fucked up as shit, dude! <laughs> I'm gonna eat this man! Yum 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 yum! Lord. I am Namira, the Lady of Decay. Your consumption of the blood and bile of Arke's own is pleasing to me. Ugh, she's like aroused by it. And the bile, I why would we eat that? My ring. Wear it, and when you feast on the flesh of the dead, I will grant you my power what was going on in the voice direction booth that day good lord what did they direct her to <laughs> good lord so i was eating his bile and stuff oh geez sorry everyone i thought you were supposed to eat the poop good lord i was i started from the butt and worked my way up <laughs> all right Let's see. That's a lot of work for such a little thing. Thank you, my lady. Wallow sure. in your wretchedness, my newest champion. Yeah, I ate his poop. I knew when you walked into the Hall of the Dead that you were special. Yeah, I'm the, I'm the shit eater. That's what they'll call me. <laughs> Thanks. I knew when you walked into the Hall of the Dead that you were special. And here you are, champion of Namira, keeper of her ring. You're everything I hoped you'd be. I feel sick. Thank you, Aeola, for everything. Let's say I feel sick. What will she say? There, there. It will pass. Going too long without a proper meal can make the stomach weak. Feel free to stay and mingle with your new coven, if you have the strength. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus, this is probably the most fucked up thing we've done so far. It's gotta be, right? Oh, look, we get our money back, though. Okay, let's take all this stuff. 
Hooded monk robes, monk boots. Ooh, gosh, did you hear that in my voice? I, I I disgusted even myself. I had like a shiver go down my spine and my arms just as we were doing that. I couldn't, in real life, I couldn't fucking keep my cool. I was like, hey, monk robes. <laughs> Freaked me out. I was like, God, what the fuck? This has gone too far. <laughs> These danger quests, what the fuck, man? <laughs> All right, sure. Fucking, what, what's the ring do? It just lets you eat people, right? If I remember correctly. Ring in a mirror. Stamina is increased by 50 points. Feeding on corpses grants you increased health and health regen. Alright, let's chat with everybody. It's an honor, Keeper of the Ring. Oh, thank you. It's an honor, Keeper of the Ring. Praise to you, champion. I'm guessing they all have one line. I'm so glad Ayola invited you to dinner. Or less. You were given the mirror's ring? A great honor. Look at these two guys. They're like best buds. I knew this feast was going to be something. Or even more. You were given the mirror's ring. All right. A great honor. Hey. Go ahead. Eat. No. This coven has existed oh, sorry. for thousands you started the coven? of years. Namira is a goddess. She has been worshipped since time began. I'm honored to be leading the latest generation of Namira's faithful. Those who have embraced what they are. Okay, well, welcome aboard, Eel. <laughs> welcome aboard. Cool. Good lord. Eel, I can't believe I just ate ring. a fucking dude. A great honor. What part did I even eat? Look, he's still there for the most part. Jesus Christ. Did it did it give me like some sort of horrific buff? Oh shit, in in the in the creation club stuff. Does that satiate your hunger if you eat a fucking dude? If you eat a person? Do you risk disease as well? Huh. I wonder. Because you're eating raw food, right? It's not like it's cooked. Well, I think we're fine, right? It's an honor, Keeper of the Ring. All right, Iola. You're one of Namira's faithful now. <laughs> All right, just don't go around saying that too much. <laughs> we're your ugliness. Oh, great! We have to get used to her saying this all the time. She's gonna be with us for a while. All right. This was a fucking mistake and a half. All right, great. I love it. I love it. Good. Okay. We've got, like, just a complete fucking pervert with us now. Good lord. You didn't even eat the guy. You didn't even eat him. I'm the only one who ate him so far. And I ate, like, his bile, his his own fecal matter, probably. Good God. <laughs> okay, cool. I guess we'll get on back to... Oh, shit. Is there more shit popping off out here? What was that? No, we're good. All right. It was probably just her. Running around, stomping around. Okay. Yeah, let's get back to Markarth. And I'm thinking when next we come back, I guess we begin with the main quest and all that? I don't know. We need to get some armor and all that shit for her. But I guess she can she can make do as is, right? Gee, she's a little slow though, huh? Alright. It's fine. She'll get accustomed to it. All the all the running we do. <laughs> get the those standpoints invested there, Eola. Make sure you eat a hearty meal all the time. Look, after all this, man, we don't even need to worry about disposing corpses, right? Look, it's been in the game all along. We just need her to to just like start feasting in a major way. <laughs> Good God. Oh, look. Oh, who is this? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your, uh, oh, inheritance. Oh, shit. Oh, and is it for him? Loss. Is it for Looks the dude like we, just, we just we just ate? Know. Hold up. Let's see. Inheritance letter. Let's see. Oh, geez, where is it? Oh, it's letter of inheritance, right? Oh, which one would it be, then? Huh. Yeah, Brother Verilus' death. Wow. Okay. A hundred cold only. Jeez, we barely knew the guy. 
now he's a part of us forever. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I don't know. Is this the most fucked up one? I can think of a few more that are, are fairly fucked up. But this one, this one's definitely high up on the fucked up ometer. <laughs> right? As far as shit that the danger quests make you go out of your way to do. Good God. All right. Let's head on over here. Such a far cry from, from a lot of the goofy fun ones of, of Oblivion, right? Even Molag Bals wasn't nearly as fucked up as some of these things in uh, Molag Bals in Oblivion, right? Or, or I guess it was kind of fucked up, but it wasn't as, like, egregious, gratuitous, right? Because you just do it in a force. There's no, like, big Wait, super altar or whatever you. involved. All right. Well, holy shit. Come on in. When next we the come back, we'll be rested up and all that stuff. We'll be ready to head out and do some questing. Maybe I'll throw some equipment on Eola. I kind of like her her look though. She looks so fucking. She has a grim look. A man like me. Oh shit! A lot of enemies. People are always trying to cheat me. Can we? I paid extra for the biggest room in the Silver <gasps> Blood Inn. I need space to stretch these arms. You were at Namira's feast, weren't you? Don't go talking about that. Only the dinner guests can know. Oh, shit. All right, then. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow, so as we encounter them, who were the other people, though? Who was that Dunmer woman and the, like, Altmer man? Who were they? I don't think I've ever seen them. Maybe they're just visitors from, like, way out of town or, like, the next region over or something? I don't know. All right. Well, when next we come back... We'll probably restart and rebegin all of our super cool questing with the main quest. Until next time, please take care of each other. When we had last left the last dragonborn. Oh shit, I forgot one thing. <laughs>